there, Miss Doris. Thank you for being here with us again today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. We always enjoy hearing from the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network. And today you're going to share some more info about resources to help families prevent underage alcohol use. Yes. Uh, happy Valentine's Day, Queen, as you said. Great. Our new year is getting off to a great start and hope all of our families and youth are enjoying the upcoming spring weather here in beautiful Florida. Mm -hmm. Although February is the shortest month of the year, it isn't short on themes and observances. We want to mention just a few and encourage parents, caregivers, school professionals, and even other youth in our community to take advantage of February's 28 days to have a conversation with kids about alcohol and and other drugs, if necessary, that make a lasting impression on them. First off, February 2nd, we had Groundhog Day, which doesn't mean much to us here in Florida, but it does sort of impact people up in the north if the groundhog sees their shadow. Yeah. February 7th was National Send a Card to a Friend Day, but you can do that anytime. It's always a nice thing to do. Uh, we just had the Super Bowl on February 12th. Today's Valentine's Day. February 20th, we're going to have President's Day. For all of February, there's four different um, monthly observances. One of the most important is Black History Month, where we learn a lot about what has been provided by our African-American citizens um, throughout the um, throughout the country and the time periods. Cancer Prevention Month is this month. Heart Health Month is this month, as well as Youth Leadership Month. Mm -hmm. So our families need to have those talks with their youth and make sure they're able to say no and feel safe doing so when they are there they encounter uh, alcohol or substances. We'd always remind the parents and caregivers that have these talks early in your child's um, developmental ages and frequently so that they feel comfortable at each life stage and they have a good plan depending on what they may encounter. Remind them, of course, that it's not safe to indulge in adult beverages at their age and give them the information to understand why this just is not good for them. Absolutely. And with all the things that you mentioned that we're celebrating this month, celebrations often come with party favors. So that's great to have those conversations. Is there any other info that you'd like to share today for our parents and kids? Yes, we do have a new resource uh, that's for our families. It's a series of podcasts that feature real parents talking. And these are produced by our federal partner, SAMHSA. The latest episode of the What Parents Are Saying podcast is now available. We also have a Grand Families, a two-part series that focuses on what we can learn from the unique qualities of this diverse family structure. And we have a lot of grandparents out there that are raising uh, their children, their grandchildren. So this episode includes an informative interview with the Grand Families Advocate in part one, and we hear firsthand from a grandmother who's raising her grandson in part two. So listen and subscribe to these podcasts today. They're no charge. They're free. You can also hear them on uh, as well, including the What Parents Are Saying, Prevention, Wisdom, Authenticity, and Empowerment. Locate them on our website and find many other useful information to help you with the talk. Also, there's a wide variety of materials that can be found in the SAMHSA store covering all the topics in prevention that you need to get informed about, be prepared and take action. And don't forget that everything available in the store is free to download or you can order them in hard copies if you'd rather have that and they will ship it to you. Mm -hmm. The link is also on our website. As always, I want to remind folks that we have partners in each of our communities. They're called prevention coalitions. And they're also a resource to help you find information and answers to any questions you might have along with resources that they keep available at their location. So information on how to contact these coalitions is on our website under the prevention tab. Absolutely. And that website again is chbhn.org, cfbhn.org. So all those resources are wonderful, Ms. Doris. Any last words for our parents? 
Just reminder to all the listeners, the parents, the caregivers, the people who care, our youth, to know that we help is here for you if you need it. We're in it to win it with you. We want to make sure you, every child grows up healthy, happy, and successful. So learn more today about how you can keep your kids safe and healthy. Visit our website, download the information to have the talk with your kids. And while you have time, tune in and listen to some of those great podcasts. Absolutely. Talk. They hear you. And as you always say, Ms. Doris, we are in it to win it. Again, that website is cfbhn.org. As always, Ms. Doris, thank you. Thank you, Queen. Have a great Valentine's Day. Thank you. Have a wonderful week.